this is what we're going to do there. I'm every moment. Yeah. So we need some music. I'm already training, guys. I'm already flirting. I'm already giving you a spark in your life right now. Look at the smiles. <laughs> yes, we already doing it. We can already dance a little bit. How many of what's the last time you danced in front of your man? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. <laughs> when he walk in the door, just dance. It's gonna shock him. <laughs> and then lead him over to the dishes and tell him, you know what, when you finish them dishes. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You think he'll do those dishes? I'm already talking about keeping the spark alive. And nothing sexier than when you're raising our children. Now, I'm serious, though. You have to create what you want. Yes? Because what you focus on expands. So if you focus on more being hurt, left at home while he travel and get those awesome hotels and this for them and he gets to eat at the restaurant and you're home alone, you just feel more alone, right? Y'all do some sexting with your name? Oh, I heard the gig of a fucking I heard the gig of a <laughs> And yes, I help you to deal with resentment because what you focus on expands. Remember why you love that person. Remember why you said I do. Remember why you were willing to have three babies with that man. Yes. All right, let's get ready to beef up. So stand up. I'm not shy about it, Brittany. Stand up, ladies. Let's do it, We can skip that a little bit because they take a little time to get to it. That's the, that's the slow part when you can't even net. Take that note, y'all. <laughs> when he walk in the house and, and surprise him. So it's like, I got him all warmed up for you. You did, girl. You did. Come on up here and dance with me, Brittany. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Paige. It's my girl right here. Let me see your moves. And y'all, like act like your loved one standing in front of you. Give him some cha cha. change the, tra the trajectory of your romantic life. So pick up that pen. First, write my name down. I'm focused from the focus of love. And I love love. Now let me tell you how I found out how much I love love. This is going to be really quick. I'm going to run through my story. So I got married at 18. Me and the gentleman, we were both Christians and we didn't want to sin, so we got married. We created 100 more problems, right? Ladies get married at 18 and he's 21. Tumultuous marriage. He ended up cheating with the nanny. Ouch. Yes. He was also a pastor, so he ended up cheating with, she was also um, an armor bearer. So two double indemnity, right? But what I got out of it, years later, after telling that story to anybody who would listen to me, right? Because <laughs> I was traumatized. I was like a pit bull, bleeding on anybody that listened to me. But it took me traveling about 37 states to get healed, going to conventions and workshops, and finding out the dance of how to get that man to pay you some attention more than his job, right? So then I became a life coach as a result of that in the offer. So what I'm talking to you about today is real. So I'm not just making this up, right? It took a healing 
So we I went around the tables to ask what was important to you. So we need some healing today. And we want to thank these two ladies for giving us an opportunity to stop. Thank you. Yes. And thank you, Jamie, for taking some time to have healing. Now, I know it's a mantra to tell everybody that I take care of my children more than me. But it's a lie. It's a fallacy. We're tricking ourselves because do we really want our children to have that same mantra? Right? No. You can shake your head. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call you. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's a lie. It's this way of being a victim. Right, Brittany? To go, well, you know, I put everybody else first. It's a way to to kind of be behind the curtain and not really deal with your life. Because if I'm too busy, I won't deal with my own pain. Yes? Thank you for shaking your head. I appreciate it. So we have to take care of ourselves and be self-full so we can get to our children and be the best mommy, be the best husband, be the best wife. Yes? So you can you only can give what you're filled up with. If you're empty and running low, you best know they feel it. The French toast ain't cut right. It was in squares. Now it's like half circles and triangles. <laughs> they feel it. The peanut butter sloppy on there, you know. Here he come again, right? <laughs> so you want to take care of yourself. And when you're about to get on the phone with your gentleman, now, Miss Frida Ray, Miss Frida Ray, stand up for a second, Miss Frida Ray. You can't call her on a Friday night because that's her boo loving night with her husband. <laughs> <laughs> and now she go, fuck it, what you want? AJ's home. What you want? <laughs> Yes, he is. That's right. Did you hear that, ladies? Because several of you said my husband travel a lot. Right? That's not an excuse to resent him and be angry with him. It's not. It's what you create. So they create, they even got a running joke that make sure he out before I get home is what her husband will tell him. <laughs> they got a running, they playfully play with it. Now, I know we all got ism and schism and layers of things that he should have, could have, we should have done, right? So we can peel that back. But what I want you to focus on is that what you focus on expands. The more angry you fo the more anger you focus on is what you will get. But play with it and have a good time. So, so that's one of the things I want you to write down. Study your man. So if you have one, you want to study his ebbs and flows, right? Is he more, is he more touchy feely? So you can ask him a question like, you can ask him a question. If you're trying to tap into your significant other, you can ask him a question like, when you're upset with me, if you don't already know, what should I do to get back on your good side? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a writable moment. Yes, tweetable moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. What should I do to get back on your side? He may say something like, come rub my back. So, you know, he get, you want to make sure you jot that down to break the tension, right? Mm -hmm. He might say something like, make me some wings and bring it down during halftime. <laughs> now, now, how are we going down at halftime when we bring the wings? You going in the sweats? I'm not going in the sweats. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot go in nothing. Forget the budget. Forget the budget. Skip Victoria's Secret. They don't care about that. Am I right about that, Weeda? Weeda's been married. How long have you been married, Weeda? 30 years. I'll be 31. All right. <laughs> Acknowledge that she here. Her father won five gold uh, Olympic medals. Mm -hmm. This is Joe Frazier's daughter. Let's give her a hand clap, everyone. <laughs> advocating for children and also uh, her father's um, organization is called Legacy Exists. So she wants people to know that you can come from nothing and be something, right? So that's also what I heard in the room. Make sure you have a hobby or something that means something to you. Because if your husband is working a lot, I appreciate it. I want you to be the best mommy. But what else lights you up? So when the children are asleep that you get excited about, that will spark your spark to want to spark his spark. Did you catch that one? That was a mouthful. I can't say it again. I can't say it again. So eye contact as well. How you look at him. You know we all got that look. When he say something right next to his mother-in-law and you go, he know that look. He's like, I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. Now what, what is the other look? Somebody give me the look you give your, your significant other that just gets him on fire. Where's the look? Who got it already? Who got it? Oh, why are everybody looking down? Why are everybody looking down? I don't have the look, so I'll be calling you later. <laughs> we will do that. It's the look of intensity. Like when you first saw him across the room, right? When you first saw him and he was like, oh, he's fine. 
Now you can put, you know, Denzel right there, you know, pack it, you know, somebody that you really like, just for a second, just for a second, okay? Just to get that look and you practice it, right? And that was supposed to be funny. They look at, they all were too serious about that. You was like, oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. That was supposed to be funny. So it's the look, right? It's who you are and your being. So if you're all frustrated and upset, go take a nice bath. You know you're about to come home. It's free to go. I got to clean my house. He's coming home. I got to clean my house and get him ready. Right, Frida Ray? She are, it's a routine. So we have to put in our schedule to succeed. Like we're going to put in our schedule for the children to go to the dentist. Yes? We're not missing that appointment. Your girlfriend cannot call and get a lunch date on the dentist appointment. Am I right? So no one should be able to call when it's time for you to boo love with your man and connect with him, with your significant other, and connect, right? Yeah, what you laughing at? What happened? We talk later. We talk later. That tickle the fancy, I'm, and I'm wrapping up now, and the smile, right? Because that, if you ask your man, what, what, or your significant other, if you ask, what got your attention? What did you see? I mean, you might say your booty, your boobs, and so forth. You might say that. We know, you know, we know about you, right? <laughs> But it's the smile. He wants the approval that he's doing a good job. Someone said, well, he has multiple children. He work a lot because it's easier to work. He knows what to do. He knows the expectations. He get rewarded because he get a paycheck. But when he come home with the three kids, he like, ah, oh, you know what they call me for overtime. I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all later. Because he has to give him a distinct job that you enroll him to do or her to do that they're willing to do and they can handle. It has a beginning, it has an end, and then he gets rewarded. Whatever that is, you guys decide that. It might be a kiss on the forehead. It might be me time. Now listen, I heard a lot of people have a lot of children. This is the last thing. I'm going to stop right here. And then we're going to, should we give out the books now or is that going to be a little later? Okay, perfect. And what you can do is actually have the children go in the playroom and play, and they all get a treat for not coming out the door for, for the whole movie. Yes. Yes. You get a treat. Listen, you watch that movie, and you don't come out, and you're going to get two scoops of ice cream. Who wants two scoops of ice cream? Who's standing there? Who's standing there? So we don't have to have an excuse of no babysitter. Go on, money you got to spend. Right? You can create that fun. And what do what will those children thank you? What will those children go up learning? Because our goal is to give them a gift of a healthy relationship, yes? Because we want them to go pick us. Maybe not right now, but after your 30-minute coaching, I got you set. Okay? But you want them to go pick and have healthy relationships, yes, guys? So we have to model that. They see when you're mad at daddy. No, you're not hiding it. Mm -mm. Not with children. They see straight through it. Y'all not best friends today, are y'all? That's what they want to say, but they can't get it out. Right? So we're not doing the 52 fake out. We think we are. We want to, but it just doesn't happen. Okay? So hopefully that helped. Did that help someone? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You want to smile and you want to take care of yourself. That self-care is what matters because that way you'll be able to give him something that you already got. Last thing for the ladies that are single. Who's single in the house? <laughs> okay, ladies, we got to talk. We got to talk. There was no energy right there. We got to talk. Hey, what's a little pumpkin? Put your hand down, little pumpkin. The last nugget I'll give you is say what you see. If you need to spell that, it's W-A-T-C-H-A. What you? Say what you see. So if you see a gentleman you're dating or, or a significant other, you see a person you're attracted to, wow, you have a nice suit on. What kind of work you do? And then smile. Mm -hmm. They love that smile. Just say what you see. Now, I love for the, for the ladies that are shy, just say that. I am so shy, but I had to say hi to you. Now, his chest just said, boom, boom. <laughs> he taking the conversation over after that. You ain't even got to worry about it. Keep that spark alive, okay, guys? So I want to give you a book for speaking up. Thank you so much. Come on up here with your beautiful self. Mm -hmm. Let's give her a hand. Thank you. And I'll sign it for you. We also have a, um, this is called the, it's upside down. Here we go. A Christmas story. So we have two tickets. This lady right here. She is singing in it as, as well as her husband. That's called a clue. They got a mutual interest they do together. Find an interest what he likes and you like, y'all can do together. That will definitely keep the spark alive. So it's two tickets right here. Who is the most senior person married in the room? Oldest 
or married the longest? Married the longest, thank you. Oh, 48 years. 48 years. Ooh. Now she, I just had a ball at their table. She has two daughters here. Oh, we, I just, we gotta go out to lunch. I wanna talk to y'all. Two hilarious. Yes, we, we're gonna all go. So I wanna award you this, these two oh, tickets. Gosh. It's a beautiful play. You're gonna hear this lovely lady sing. Her husband's in the play. Oh wow! Thank so it, you. Yes, it's next Saturday at five o'clock. A Christmas story. A Christmas story. Next Saturday at five o'clock. Thank yes. you. So who's? Yeah, let's give her a hand clap. Let's give her a hand two more books because we want to do three and I want to make sure I be fair and do that. Now who's who's ready to date? You like focus. I need your help. I'm ready to rock. Let's get out on the field. Who's that? Uh -huh. I saw how you was moving up. You are ready to date girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to get her a book. What's your name? Dawn. Dawn. Okay. We're going to definitely get Dawn a book and I'll sign it for you as well. Now who said focus? I need that spark you're talking about like right now, like yesterday. Who's ready to get that spark up? Brittany, I got you covered. You ain't even got to raise your hand, Brittany. I got you covered. <laughs> she already said, I want to see you afterwards, focus. I got you covered. Anybody else is like, I'm ready to go. Thank you. You too. So give both of them a book and let's get that information. Thanks for being brave, guys. I love y'all. Thank you.